What's up guys, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Tone and Titan, and in this video I'm counting down my 10 favorite exercises to strengthen your knees. Let's get into it right now. First of all, let's make one thing very clear. Yes, I understand that your knee is a joint and it is impossible to strengthen a joint. Therefore, yes, it is actually impossible to strengthen your knees. What we have to do is strengthen the muscles that act on your knees and move your knees and stabilize your knees, thereby increasing stability in the joint. And so that is actually what I want to give you in this video. The title just got a little bit long when I started to explain it that way. Second of all, the best exercises that you can do to strengthen your lower body are going to be those core four lower body power lifting moves, your squats, your weighted lunges, your hip thrusters, and your deadlifts. However, what happens if you don't have any of that equipment available? And what happens if your knees are too painful to get into some of those weighted movements? Well, as a physical therapist, that's my specialty. That's where I come in and start to recommend the exercises that you need to do to correct your knee joint mechanics in order to allow you to perform some of those higher level activities. And so that is what you're going to be getting with this video. Now I mentioned in the introduction, I'm going to be counting these down from 10 to one. What we're going to do is 10 is going to be non-weight bearing exercises, simple exercises to get those muscles fired up and going all the way down to number one, more aggressive, weight bearing, higher level activities that are potentially a little more painful. And so as I present these, hopefully you're going to find two or four or six exercises that are going to be right for your strength level and right for your pain tolerance and then you can progress up into those higher levels as you can. That being said, let's get into these right now. Kicking things off in spot number 10 is going to be a quad set. What you're going to do is sit down on the ground with both knees extended out in front of you. Now what you're going to do is try to push your knee down into the floor, activating your quadricep muscle. It's that big muscle on the front of your thigh. You're going to hold that contraction for five to 10 seconds, and then you're going to relax. This is probably my favorite way to simply get the quad activated and fired up. A great way to strengthen it in a non-weight bearing position that typically doesn't cause a lot of pain at the knee. Three sets of about 10 second holds on the quad sets is what I typically recommend. Number nine, we're going to progress those quad sets into a straight leg raise. Now the mechanics are the same. Sit on the ground with your legs out extended. The first step is to perform a quad set by tightening up your quad muscle. Keep your leg locked out straight as now you slowly raise your leg up off of the ground about 18 or so inches and then slowly lower back down to that starting position. This one is surprisingly difficult, especially when we get up into the higher rep ranges. I recommend about 20 reps, and if you can, about three sets of 20 reps on these straight leg raises is a good number to shoot for. Now let's not forget about the posterior chain, those hamstring muscles as well. My favorite way to strengthen those is with a bridge. You're gonna lay down on your back with your knees bent. You're gonna contract your glutes, you're gonna contract your quads and lift your hips up off the ground as high as you can. Hold that for about a three second count and then slowly return back down to that starting position. Again, this is one of my favorite ways to get those hamstrings fired up. It's very safe. It's generally well tolerated as we're not weight bearing on it and there's not a lot of motion going on at the knee. Three sets of about 10 to 15 of these glute bridges or these hamstring bridges is a great number to shoot for it. Number seven is one that we rarely think of as a knee strengthening exercise, but hear me out on this. This is going to be a calf raise. Now, one of your muscles in your calves actually crosses the back of your knee joint and can contribute to knee flexion. But honestly, more than that, your ankle tells your knee where to go in space. And if you have weakness in your ankles, a lot of times that can show up as knee pain. Keeping your ankles strong is a great way to keep your knees healthy. Calf raises are a great way to do that. What you're going to do is stand on the edge of a stair with your legs straight, let your heels fall down below your toes or down below your stairs, and then contract those muscles in your calves to come up onto your toes, thereby raising your heels up above the stair, and then slowly return down to that starting position again. I typically recommend about three sets of 20 repetitions on these calf raises. Now with exercise number six, we actually start to introduce a little bit of motion at the knee joint. This is going to be a long arc quad or a knee extension. 
What you're going to do is sit on the edge of your bed or on the edge of the table or on the edge of a chair and then contract the muscle on the top of your leg. We're gonna contract that quad to straighten the leg all the way out and then let the knee bend to return the foot back down to the floor into that starting position. So again, contract that muscle on the top of your leg, hold one, two, three at the top of the rep, and then bring it slowly back down into that starting position. Again, introducing a little bit of motion into this exercise takes that quad contraction up one more level, thereby making this a little bit more aggressive strengthening exercise, about three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Exercise number five, we're going to start to introduce some weight-bearing exercises to your knees. A great way to do that is with a wall sit. You're going to back up to a wall and then slide down until your thighs are parallel with the floor or until your knees are at about a 90 degree angle. You're then going to hold that for as long as you can, 20 to 30 to even up to about 60 seconds. This is a great isometric contraction for those quad muscles in a weight-bearing position. That simply means that yes, we're on our feet, but there's not a lot of motion involved with this. This is actually one of my favorite exercises for patellar tendonitis type issues and other knee joint problems as well. Try it out, let me know what you think. Number four is going to be a body weight squat or an air squat. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, drop down into as low a squat as you can, and then use your quads and your glutes to pull yourself back up out of it. Ideally, we would want the thighs to be parallel to the ground, but if pain is your limiting factor, go as low as you comfortably can. A great tip here is try to keep your knees directly over your toes or directly in line with your toes, and try not to let your knees get out in front of your toes as you're performing that squat. Now the sets and reps on your air squats are three sets of about 10 to 20 repetitions. Exercise number three on my list is one of my favorites for the knee stabilization muscles. That's the muscles right here on the side, our hip abductors, as well as our glute muscles here in the back. This is going to be a single leg deadlift. What you're going to do is stand on one leg with a slight bend in your knee, hinge in your hips to drop your torso down towards the ground as the opposite leg lifts up towards the ceiling, and then use your glute on the side that you're standing on to pull yourself back into an upright position. Try to keep your back straight and try to keep your hips level with the ground as you're performing this exercise. 10 to 15 repetitions on each side, repeated three times. Here we go, you guys. We're down to exercise number two on our list. You knew I wasn't gonna get through the entire list without some variation on a lunge, right? While lunges are great, they only work your legs in one plane of motion. For that reason, exercise number two on my list is a star lunge, as we can get into different ranges of motion and start to tax those muscles that stabilize and work on your knee a little bit differently. What you're going to do is start with a forward lunge, drop into a lunge as far as you can, and then right back up to the starting position, then we're gonna drop into a lateral lunge out to the side, same thing, drop your body down into a lunge squat position, return to that starting position, and then finally, we're also going to do a rotational lunge as well. You're gonna to rotate to the back, drop into a lunge, and then return to that starting position again. If we can get the knee used to working in each one of those different planes of motion, that's really going to improve the strength and really improve the stability, thereby greatly improving the function of your knee. Forward, sideways, and rotation would be one repetition. You're gonna shoot for about three sets of 10 on each leg. Finally, we've made it to the number one spot, and I kind of feel like a drum roll is appropriate. Hey, can we get a drum roll? The number one exercise on my list of top 10 exercises to strengthen your knee joint is the Bulgarian split squat. This is my favorite exercise in a weight-bearing position. Tons of pressure on the quad, tons of stabilization required on this one, tons of strength to get up out of those reps. Let me run you through it real quick and I'll explain why it makes number one on my list. What you're going to do is stand about a foot or so in front of a chair or a bench. You're going to bend one leg and put your foot up on the chair or bench behind you. Now with the leg that's on the ground, we're gonna bend that leg until we drop down into a lunge position. And then we're going to fire the quads, fire the glutes to return back upright into that starting position. This is a great way to really stress your quads, but it also introduces a ton of hip flexion and extension, making it a great exercise for your glutes. And then it's also in a unilateral position, meaning we're only working one leg 
which requires a ton of stabilization to happen at your knee joint. Once again, three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions on each side with these Bulgarian split squats is the number that I typically recommend. If you're looking for more great exercises, more great workout videos that are going to help you with your knee pain, with your knee strength, here are a couple that you might check out right here. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, hit the circle button right here to do so. I'd love to see you back for more future videos. Hope this helped. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you again next time.